Good morning. <laughs> I want you to do me a quick favor. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used a collagen supplement or if you've ever considered using a collagen supplement and then I'll tell you why, why I wanna know. I've had like actual pirates on the brain lately. <laughs> And I started researching about pirates and learning about pirates. I know this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but um, hold on, let's see if I can, I don't know if I can see, I can't see any comments. I don't know, tell me if you're here so I can see if you're here. Um, so here's the thing. I'm sure you've been seeing all over Facebook everyone talking about collagen because it's a really, really hot topic right now. There's a whole bunch of new science coming out. There's a whole bunch of like new supplements coming out. And everyone is collagen this and collagen that and kind of going crazy with it. So here's, here's my little, here's my info session. You ready for your Saturday morning science, science thing? <laughs> collagen is a big deal. It is by mass about one third of the protein that's in your body. Collagen, like all proteins, is made up of chains of amino acids. Where do you get those amino acids? Well, you make, you make them, you break them down from other proteins, dietary proteins, things like um, when you eat things like chicken and beef and legumes and whole grains, you take those proteins out of those things, break them all down into amino acids and then build up your own chains of amino acids into collagen. There are a couple of different kind, kinds of collagen, but typically a collagen molecule or a collagen as a whole is built up of a long fibrous a strand that are joined together end to end to end and they're all twisted together so they're really really strong typically when your body makes a collagen it is two kinds two of one kind of collagen and a third of a second kind of collagen all twisted together and your collagen is the structural substance of your entire body so your your cells like, let's talk about your skin because skin is such a visual, obviously. It's, it's the largest organ in your body. It's super, super visual. Um, and I'm guessing that when you think of collagen, you think of skin. Um, you think about uh, less wrinkles. You think about good hair, good nails, that type of thing. But so let's think of, let's talk about skin. Your skin cells aren't just slapped on top of each other. They're not just pancakes piling all up on top of each other. If they were, they would just fall off of all over the place. I know, I know they do fall off. <laughs> but they fall off when they're not being used anymore. They don't fall off while they're being used. If you just loft off your skin while it's being used, you have a big problem. So something has to hold them together. That's collagen. So here's a little visual for you, right? So um, skin cell, skin cell. Where do they go? There's nothing holding them together. They can't just like float out in the middle of nowhere. So here you go. You get your collagen strand, long, flexible, strong collagen strand, holds them exactly where they're supposed to go. Holds them in a way that the structure of your skin is most efficient. Um, allows oxygen to flow through, water to, fl to flow through, your, um, allows your, your blood and your cardiovascular system and everything to get everything where it needs to go. So that's great, that's what you, that's what you want, right? So what happens when the collagen breaks down or when you stop making it? As you age, your body stops making collagen. Um, it gets harder and harder for your body to break down those amino acids. And then um, basically you start making collagen at the rate you originally had. That's why whenever we talk about having baby smooth skin, it's so smooth because babies are producing collagen at an like an elevated rate. They're growing constantly and they always need that collagen replaced. They always need that collagen to build those cellular structures as they're growing. So it makes sense that they would have super smooth, super uh, soft skin because everything is where it's supposed to be. Lots and lots of collagen. It's not, collagen's not just in your skin though. It's in all of your organs, your bone tissue. It is, it, like, every single part of your body has collagen in it. There are areas that of course have more collagen in it and collagen has other roles in your body other than just your skin and other than just being the structural substance, it provides all other, other kinds of things too. So for example, if you were to get a cut, when there's a, there's a protein in your blood and when you get a cut, once those blood cells 
hit the collagen layers that are in your skin around those blood um, those blood vessels in your veins and everything. The collagen triggers the reaction that causes the clotting so you stop bleeding because it is a connective tissue. The collagen, your body sends those collagen molecules to, to like weave together, catch all the platelets in your blood because we all learned that platelets stop the bleeding. It needs more than just the platelets. It helps catch all the platelets that in, in your blood to build that scab, to build the thing that keeps you from bleeding out. Collagen is very important. So it is built from, like I said, it's built from amino acids and you get those from digesting proteins, dietary proteins. When you digest dietary proteins, you create oxidative stress. When you create oxidative stress in your body, it breaks down collagen, right? So like that's kind of backward. You make collagen, you create oxidative stress, you break down the collagen that you already made. <laughs> no, that, that seems backward, but that's what happens. So to combat the oxidative stress, to combat the breakdown of the collagen that you're currently making, you eat fruits and vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables, lots of antioxidants, lots of vitamin C, lots of good things for you, help to combat the oxidative stress that you get whenever you're breaking down proteins to create chains of amino acids to create collagen. So therefore, the oxidative stress doesn't affect the buildup of the collagen so much. It's a very, very careful balance. If you don't do it right, it kind of defeats the purpose. And that's why everyone's like, eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, antioxidants are so important. And there are so many things that create oxidative stress in your body. It's not just the creation of, of breaking down proteins. So let's talk about pirates. <laughs> pirates frequently had or developed scurvy. Scurvy is what happens when you have so much oxidative stress in your body that the collagen in your system starts to break down. It is really, really unpleasant. So like pirates, uh, you know, think of your, think about your favorite pirate movie. And I've like seriously been thinking about my favorite pirate movie. Think about your favorite pirate movie. And what happens is, is everybody fights all the time. Everyone gets mad at the lazy pirates. Everyone gets starts fights with the, the pirates that they deem to be lazy. And let me think, let you, I want you to think about this. When do you get most upset with someone for not doing something? You get upset with them for not doing something when it needs to be done and you don't want to do it either, right? So you are feeling, let's say you're a pirate and you're developing scurvy. You've been out on the ocean, out on the seas for a month. There's no more fresh fruit. There's no more fresh vegetables. You're eating salted pork, which is it is literally, it's a pig that you brought onto the ship that you cooked in seawater. So you're eating salted pork because it's salted from all the ocean from the seawater and hardtack, which is just bread that's been baked so many times that it's become really, really hard like a cracker. You're soaking it in your beer so that it's, it's um, soft enough to eat, but you have zero fresh fruit and zero fresh vegetables. So you are creating all of this oxidative stress in your body and you don't have any of that freshness with those antioxidants to combat it. So you start getting tired because you've got so much of that oxidative stress in your system. You start getting angry and moody because you can't think straight because your brain is full of oxidative stress. So everyone's tired and everyone's angry and everyone knows that that is the number one place to start fights. It's not just that though, okay? <laughs> it's not just that. Once you get to the next step, your bones and your muscles and all of your tissues in your body start to hurt because the collagen supporting the cells in your body starts to break down. All of a sudden, everything is kind of squished together or twisted or not quite where it's supposed to be. And you feel that, you feel that in your body, you start to hurt, you start to feel like you have the flu. Your bones ache, your muscles ache. Um, you start to get like joint pain because um, like arthritis, for example, is when the collagen that's protecting your bones between um, in your joints. Arthritis is <laughs> when you break down that collagen faster than it can be replaced. So if you can't create collagen because you've got oxidative stress because you don't have vegetables, you can't create collagen for those joints. 
So your bones hurt, your joints hurt, your muscles hurt. And then all of a sudden you can't catch your breath because your lungs are being impacted too. Your heart is, is being impacted too and it doesn't have the cellular strength to push the blood through your system the way that your body was meant to so you can't catch your breath because you can't get the oxygen to the body that you need. Your skin starts to get rough and that's an obvious one. That's one of the first things we think about because when your skin starts to get rough because all of a sudden your cellular structure is crashing. You're, you start to easily bruise because there's nothing protecting your blood from being just shot all over your body because without those collagen molecules getting in there and creating that net to create the platelets, there's nothing to stop the blood. Your hair follicles get loose because your skin structure is deteriorating and your hair starts to fall out. Your gums, the gums in your mouth, they start to degrade too and your teeth start to fall out. Okay, it is ugly. Then start, things start to get really bad if that's not bad enough. So everyone's angry, everyone's fighting, everyone's literally falling apart. Then you start to get really pleasant things like conjunct, subconjunctival bleeding. That means you're bleeding in your eyeballs. I don't know if you've ever read like, um, myth, like any types of mythological type things or actual pirate stories from way, way, way back when, but when people started to think that pirates were demons or they were these demon ships and these pirates, um, you know, these crews of demons, it's because they all had scurvy and they all had subconjunctival bleeding and their eyes were red because their eyeballs were bleeding because they had scurvy because their collagen was breaking down. Your cuts stop healing completely. And did you know that scar tissue, scar tissue is active tissue. When the collagen that helps to build your scar tissue starts to break down, all of your old scars and old wounds start to reopen. That's not pretend, that's real. Like your scars actually open again because your collagen tissues are breaking down. Okay, and for the record, I've been doing a lot of reading on this because I find it really interesting. This is not, you know, la la land. This is from, um, Science America journals from Yale. Like I'm looking at legitimate sources here. So, so once you're you're getting subconjunctival bleeding, your hair is falling out, your teeth have all fallen out, and everybody's mad and tired. Your eyes and your nose and your throat, you're no longer able to to lubricate them in a way that you need. So think about um, when it's really hot outside or when it's really dry outside and you get super th thirsty. What happens when you're on a ship in the middle of the ocean? Everyone only gets so much water, right? So everyone's tired, everyone's bleeding, everyone's hair is falling out, everyone's teeth is falling out, and everyone's really thirsty, so everyone's all hacked off. But don't worry, don't worry because it's almost over. Because right after all of that stops starts to happen, your liver and your brain liquefy, you go into convulsions, and you die because your whole body literally falls apart because your collagen broke down. Because when you eat dietary proteins and you break down proteins into amino acids, you create oxidative stress. Without fresh fruit and vegetables with antioxidants in them like vitamin C, you can't combat the oxidative stress. So the oxidative stress that you create while you're building collagen breaks down the collagen that you just built. All right, there's my tirade on why collagen is important to you. So what do you do? What do you do, right? So we all know that we should take our vitamins. We all know we need to eat fresh fruit and vegetables, but we all get out of these funks and then you get into habits of like, you know, you eat all the oranges and then a week later you eat all the broccoli. And it's really hard to digest everything that you need to get the amount of antioxidants that you need in your body to make your, to help your body work at an optimal level. So we take supplements. We take supplements because, because we need to, because the, the world that we're in and, and scientifically the world that we're in, you have, you need to take supplements. It's just the nature of the beast. So Collagen is a really, really hard, non-soluble, very large molecule. You know, this is not this is not a great representation of size. Um, these guys, they're really little. This is bigger. This is a hard, non-soluble, very delicate molecule. When you take a supplement, 
you frequently find like collagen in a powder form. But when you take a collagen supplement, because the collagen is so big, because it's non non soluble, meaning it won't um, naturally mix into water, because it's very delicate, when you eat it, your body still thinks it needs to break it down. So yes, you've got all the right amino acids. Yes, you've got the right building blocks, but your body will still break down the supplemental collagen and build it back up again. So at least you've got all the parts to the Lego kit, but you still create the oxidative stress. You're still doing it. Okay, cool. So you take your collagen supplement, it's really hard to absorb because it has really low bioavailability because it is so big, because it is not water soluble. So what do you do? Well, if you really want to feel the benefits of a collagen supplement, you have to take two to three times the recommended dose on the, the side of your powder jug for two to three weeks to feel or see any noticeable difference. Then you take a week off and then you do it again. That's expensive. That's really expensive. If you are doubling or tripling the amount of collagen recommended on the side of the jug for two to three weeks, you would need three jugs of collagen for one month, three or four jugs of collagen for one month when you expect that you only needed one. That's expensive. That's a lot. Now, there are, there are two different kinds of um, collagen supplements on the market right now. One of them is... Um, as a non-vegan, well, they're both te technically, you can say that one is vegan because it's, I don't know, it's it's a whole, as someone who does vegan, can you can you tell me about this? Is, is fish okay is what I wanna know. So collagen comes from protein, protein comes from animals. So you can get um, a lot of collagen out in the market right now. It's bovine collagen, collagen from cows. You also see marine collagen. And um, I've done a little research and you can get it from a couple different places, but typically it's from like a mackerel fish, um, um, very oily uh, fish. So if you've got your collagen supplement, you're taking a whole bunch of it and it's still not working really the way that you want it to because your body still has to break it down. So here's the thing, you're taking all this collagen, you're seeing some benefits because you've been taking it for a month, right? Um, as soon as you stop taking it, your body will eventually go back to where it was. So it's kind of an everyday thing. So if you want collagen to be a thing that helps you, you have to take it every day. It's like a vitamin. You have to take it every day. And that's okay because if you can find a collagen that works for you, great, do it because it's not hard to do. However, if you're going to spend the money on the collagen, make sure that you are purchasing a collagen supplement that has super, super high bioavailability. Otherwise, you're just throwing money down the drain. So when you don't take collagen or, or when you're aging, so let's talk about more modern day things. We're not pirates. No one's really, well, people are pirates now, but we're not pirates. When you start to see collagen breakdown in your body, you're gonna start to see wrinkles. If you're seeing wrinkles on the outside of your body, collagen is breaking down everywhere else in your body too. But things like long-term sun exposure can increase the breakdown because it can increase oxidative stress. Sunburn is oxidative stress or creates oxidative stress. So you start to see wrinkles on areas in your face that are exposed to sun all the time. The tops of your forehead, your cheeks around your mouth, the tops of your shoulders, your arms and your hands are places that you're gonna see collagen breaking down faster because it's exposed to sun more because we wear clothes. And you put sunscreen on, but you rub it off here and you rub it off here because you're touching your face all the time. And so, you know, sunburn, wrinkles, that whole thing. If you're a, long, if you're a, a smoker, smoking creates oxidative stress in the body and your lungs and your face all around your mouth because you, that's where all of that happens. You're gonna start seeing premature aging because you've created oxidative stress and it's breaking down this collagen in your cellular structure. So here's the thing. How do you get collagen into your body in a way that is bioavailable doesn't, and doesn't create the oxidative stress? I have a solution for you. You grab your little handy dandy jar of BioCX. So let's pretend, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about BioCX before, but see, here's the thing. This, let's just pretend that this is BioCX. This jar is not inside. This whole jar is a BioCX. BioCX is a 
Um, it's a compound that was developed in order to wrap around a molecule in order to make it um, able to bond on a molecular level to a water molecule. It also protects the cellular structure that it is wrapping around. So let's take our collagen, let's poke this very, <laughs> very delicate collagen, wrap it around this protective shell. So now this collagen molecule isn't going to break down due to any type of trauma that it may encounter in that process of being ingested. It's also going to take this molecule that is not water dissolvable and attach it naturally on a molecular level to water molecules. Now, what does that mean? That means that as soon as you put this in your body, your body absorbs it into your system before you digest it. It skips the digestion process. So this molecule doesn't have to be broken down. You don't create oxidative stress because you are not breaking down this collagen to create amino acids to build up the collagen again. No oxidative stress and a collagen that is water dissolvable, which means your body can literally shoot it everywhere it needs immediately and completely. So that means when I am buying a jar, a jar of a multivitamin that is fabulous, has the vitamin C and lots of B vitamins and all kinds of things that help combat other natural oxidative stress. It has collagen in it that can go straight into my cells, completely skipping the digestive process. I'm getting the collagen. I'm not getting the oxidative stress. I love that. So when you get collagen, you are going to see very gradually, but noticeably the opposite of scurvy, right? Your hair is going to get nicer. Your nails are going to get nicer. Your skin is going to get nicer. So yes, there's a scientific reason that when you ingest lots of collagen, you actually start to look better because the things that happen when you don't have collagen or you have collagen breakdown in your body start to happen in reverse. As you age, you don't create collagen as efficiently as you did before, or even as much as you did before, so you get all those wrinkles. When you put in collagen in your body that you can just absorb straight into your system on a cellular level, you start to age in reverse. And it's not just for your skin, it's for your organs, your bones, your muscle tissue, your digestive system, all of it gets better and stronger because you have added naturally easily absorbed collagen molecules to reform and restructure all of the cells in your body. That's crazy. I don't want my brain to liquefy. Do you? Because <laughs> that's really what this comes down to. Your body breaks down as you age because you can't create collagen molecules as efficiently as possible, as efficiently as before. So we take a supplement and we start aging in reverse. So when you see people posting about how they're taking collagen, there's a reason they're doing it. There's a scientific reason that they're doing it. And right now, and this is this is this part's a little pitchy, so <laughs> so bear with me. But right now, the vitamins that I take that have the the collagen that's wrapped in this Bio CX, they're all 15% off. Collagen's expensive, so let me tell you why I go with this one. Not only does it have the BioCX that makes the collagen completely absorbable on a molecular level, doesn't create that oxidative stress, but I get my vitamins with it too. I don't have to buy two products. I don't have to have a huge tub of powdered collagen on my countertop and seven bottles of multivitamin. I get everything in here. Vitamin D3, a boatload, haha, <laughs> a boatload, because pirates, a boatload of vitamin Bs, um, it has magnesium gluconate, A, G, P, C, A, G, P, C. Did you see it right there? A, G, P, C. Look that up. That's important. And bioavailable collagen. That, my friends, is my sale. Is my, my sale. Ha, ah, gosh. I Seriously, I need to get over the pirates. Um, that, that is why collagen is so important. That is why everyone is so excited about it. And that is why people are saying they're seeing results because it does work because your body literally needs it to support the structure, the cellular structure of every part of your body. So 
If you have any more questions about collagen, if you have any more questions about BioCX and how it can work, uh, let me know. And at uh, one o'clock Eastern today, there is a wellness Zoom that will cover a whole bunch of this other stuff and won't just focus on a tirade of collagen and pirates and scurvy. So I hope you enjoyed your Saturday morning science experiment. Well, it wasn't really experiment. It was science, Saturday morning science demonstration over here from the human house. And I'd be happy to talk to you about anything else because clearly this stuff, this stuff, I really like it. I like me some science. So have a great day, friends, and I will talk to you soon.